Divine Masculine and Divine Feminines. How are you doing this fine morning? Um, huge shout out to my day one subscribers, my new subscribers. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is just a general energy check-in for what's going on with the Virgo Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is just a, a peek behind the curtain, a heads up, update of what is going on between you two or with you. Uh, so we have here, oh, and along with guidance from spirit. I always like to put in, I throw in some guidance from spirit. Always very, very good. Okay, so cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And let us begin. So we have here victory. Nine of Swords, Two of Earth in Reverse, the High Priestess in Reverse, and Abundance. Okay, so Divine Feminine, you wanted... You wanted victory with your person, right? You believe that you could have abundance with your person. But the thing is, you never got that. Yeah. Instead, you got an imbalanced relationship. Uh, your person, you may have had a lot of arguments, you may have argued a lot, but that's because your person was very, they were ignorant, they were short-sighted, they didn't understand you. Mm -hmm. Your person may have been um, taking bad advice from people at the time as well. Uh, your person could have been very shallow, right? They only looked at surface. I'm, I'm hearing not ready. They weren't ready for the depth of who you were or who you are. They weren't ready for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So I'm also hearing uh divine feminine that your person was not ready. So your divine masculine, they were not ready to make the relationship deep. Mm-hmm. They just wanted it to be surface, you know, you guys have fun, but they didn't they weren't ready to take it to another level, you know, um, a deeper stage of commitment. They weren't ready for that. Because you believe that you could be abundant with your person. But the thing is, because this was taking so long and because of all the imbalances, you it actually puts you in misery. You, you could have been depressed. You may have found yourself arguing with your person a lot. You were very unhappy. Hmm. Did you have a miscarriage? Divine Feminine, did some of you have miscarriages? I'm, I'm hearing a very small number of you. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is because of you, you were your state inside, your energetic state inside, you were suffering inside because you weren't happy with how things were going in your relationship. Energy. I'm hearing that the so the baby chose not to stay because of your energy at the time. Mm-hmm. The baby chose not to stay or not to come. Hmm. Had to wait until you rose your vibration. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is for some of you. Uh, uh, Spirit said you, you will know what I mean. Okay, okay. I'm seeing a divine feminine who's smoking. You're pregnant. You just found out you're pregnant and you're stressed. And you're smoking. You're like chain smoking. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So it's like what you wanted with your person you never got. Mm hmm Yeah. What you believed that you could have, you never saw. For some of you, your person wasn't, um, they weren't really around that much or... Or they didn't come around as much as you wanted them to come around. 
Yeah. And you weren't building the foundation that you wanted to build with them. For some of you, you felt like you weren't even in a real freaking relationship with your person. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you felt like you were just friends with benefits. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I am picking up the energy of a divine feminine who may have found out that she was um, pregnant and it made you depressed because you were thinking to yourself, well, we're just friends with benefits. So I can't come to him and tell him that I'm pregnant. You know, that's just going to make things worse. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we have here man holding a coin. The hermit. Thinking. Two of swords. An ace of air. <laughs> I'm laughing, Divine Feminine, because your person, Divine Masculine, is all up in his head right now. Yes, he is. He is. He's trying to... Okay, so some of you, Divine Feminines, you stop talking to your person. You're not in communication with them. You're not seeing them. Some of you may have even broken up with your person. Mm -hmm. Or you just decided to leave them alone. But this has your person all up in his head. He's trying to figure out how to finesse, finesse himself back into your life or finesse you back into his life. Your person knows that because of what happened, because of how he was with you in the past, he can't just come any old way. And he definitely cannot come the way he was before. Mm -hmm. He's no longer trying to sabotage this relationship. And he does want to be with you. He's just trying to think of a way to come back or get you to come back. He wants to do it in a harmonious way. Mm -hmm. And he feels a lot of affection towards you. He wants to do it in a way that maintains the peace between you two, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm picking up the energy of a divine masculine that misses their divine feminine. Divine feminine, your person misses you. They miss you. And they feel stupid. They feel stupid for the things that they did and how they dealt with you. They feel like you never deserved that. Right? They used to have this way of being that was very shallow and short-sighted and selfish. And it's they realize that. Your divine um, masculine, your person divine feminine... They're in this space right now where they are doing some very serious inner reflection, contemplation. They may be keeping to themselves right now because they're thinking about the stuff that they did, how they dealt with you. They're thinking about why they were like that with you. And they're coming out of that. So this time away from you is allowing them to go within, right? So that they can really straighten their self out and fix up their energy, you know? They're realizing that they had some outdated ways of being with you, some self-sabotaging ways of dealing with you, of dealing with the relationship. They realized that the way they were doing things was not conducive to a productive, harmonious, um, solid foundation, right? They were on some recklessness. And it's because at the time, it wasn't, this relationship wasn't that deep to them. But it is now. You not being around is a slap in the face to them of how just how important you really are. Because they're thinking, right? Look at all these cards. Thinking, 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 thinking. They're all up in their head thinking. All of these cards are thinking. All of them except for one. They're thinking of how. <laughs> all of them except for one. Right? They're trying to think of a way to get back into your life, to get you back into their life, to um, fix what was wrong, to repair what was broken. 
I'm hearing that song, I don't want to be a player no more. So some of you, Divine Fams, your person cheated on you. They had you as an option. That's why they kept, they tried to keep the relationship real light with you. Like, oh, we're just friends with benefits. I just come through when I come through and that's it. You know, nothing more, nothing less. But they, they're trying to think of a way to offer you something. They want to make you an offer. Divine Feminine. They want this to be deeper than it is. They don't want to be friends with benefits anymore. They want the real thing with you. And they're trying to think of a way to come in and, and let you know that. But they're trying to be smart about it. They're not trying to drop the ball with you this time. Nope. It's like they. I'm feeling the energy of, of a divine masculine that realizes like this is, this is my person. I have to get my person back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like they're starting to realize now that they can have abundance with you and that relationship that they really wanted, they can have that with you. Like if they're going to settle down, they can settle down with you. Because look at this, we have walking away in reverse. They don't want you to go nowhere and they're not going anywhere. King of Cups, right? They're taking responsibility for their actions. Twelve of water. Page of coins. And a wisdom. So divine feminine, your person, they don't want you to go nowhere. And they don't want to go anywhere either. Mm -hmm. They want you to stay. Because they're st I am seeing a divine masculine who's standing two feet planted firm on the floor. Like I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere unless you're coming with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're taking responsibility of this relationship, of their, um, their actions, right? And they're trying to think of a creative way to come towards you. Divine Feminine, your person may be a professional, a businessman, entrepreneur. They could be a lawyer, uh, an artist. But your person, they show up as a considerate person, a generous person. So they want to do the right thing and they're not a bad person. They just made some bad moves, some bad decisions in the past. But they want to right those wrongs. They want to rectify the situation. Uh, for some of you divine feminines, your person may have gotten good advice from someone. It's funny. I just did the Taurus reading and they got bad advice. Yes. But Virgo, uh, divine masculine, you're getting good advice from people. Um, I'm... I'm feeling that some of you have may have joined the Twin Flame community and you are now, you're mixing and mingling with other Twin Flames, under other divine masculines, other divine feminines. Some of you, I'm seeing you watching the videos in my playlist by Sophia Charles, and you're really starting to understand your um, relationship dynamic as a Twin Flame, as a divine masculine, as a divine feminine. So you're starting to realize how to go about your relationship, you know, how to work in your relationship with your person because your, your relationship is different. Also, Divine Masculine, you are really thinking like you're concentrated. You're focused, man. <laughs> you're focused on how you're going to get your person back. You're learning. what you, Some of you are really studying those videos because you're learning Right, And you want to learn. You want to learn how to do this better, how to be better with your person. This news that you got is good news for you. Some of you are feeling like you're feeling more optimistic because you're. it's like you realize, you know what? Okay, well, I can do this. I can focus on myself so that I can um, draw my person in. I need to do my healing so that uh, I can show up as a whole, complete person being with my person. I can show up whole. Mm -hmm. Because you want to, you want to give your person this offer, divine masculine. Uh, but you're using your wisdom to do it. You're not just riding in there, you know, or kicking in the door or no, you're going to finesse this. Mm -hmm. You're using your wisdom 
you're understanding the things that you've learned from the past that you did wrong. You're correcting them. You're learning from your mistakes that you made with your person. Mm -hmm. And you're allowing that to guide you. You're allowing spirit to guide you as well. Spirit is encouraging you to use your wisdom with your person. It's like, okay, well, me being that way in the past didn't work. So I need to try something new. I need to try a different approach with her, with him. Because that didn't work before. Mm -hmm. Because guidance from spirit, we have attachment in reverse and broken heart. So this says, um, spirit wants you to detach from fear and doubt, divine masculine. Fear and doubt of that things won't work out with your person. Fear. I'm feeling fear. I'm fearing, feeling a divine masculine who you fear your person leaving. You fear your per not being with your person. You fear that you may have messed up so much that your person won't want you again. And spirit wants you to detach from that whole energy to release it because that is what is breaking your heart. Um, Divine Masculine, you may feel brokenhearted because of your person not being around, but you're, you're breaking it even more, right? It's like you're going back over the pieces and breaking them into smaller pieces. And spirit wants you to stop doing that with the way that you're thinking, Mm -hmm. With these energies, not your thinking, with these energies that you have, right? These emotions, yes, fear and doubt. You're breaking your own heart. Mm -hmm. And it's time to heal, spirits, that it's time to heal. So you need to detach from what happened in the past so you can focus on your healing. Focus on yourself so that you can draw your person in. Yeah? Well, that's how you're going to right these wrongs. That's how you're going to be able to finesse the situation and finesse your person back into your life through healing, right? You have to love yourself, right? And detach from that fear and that doubt because that will keep you stuck. Mm -hmm. Spirit saying you want to offer, you want to offer your person a cup from a space of love, self-love, self-love is the best love because by you loving yourself, you'll be able to love your person the right way. Yes, absolutely. So spirit wants you to detach from feeling fearful, feeling doubt, feeling not enough, insecure, because you don't want to offer them a cup. You don't want to offer them a cup with that in it, right? You want to offer them a, a, a cup from a space of confidence, self-assurance, self-love, self-expression, authenticity, you know? It's just what are you, what energy are you offering your cup with? Because it's not a question of love. Spirit said it's not a question of love with you. You love your person. It's just the energy that you're you're giving your love with the energy that, what is it, spirit? The energy that your love is coming from. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to come off real desperate or needy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want it to be strong and sure, just like you. You're the king of cups. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Um, if this reading resonates with you, fantastic. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to click the notification button. I'm sure that Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. It's all about divine timing. If you are looking for a personal reading, there is a link in my description box that will take you to my Etsy shop. It's at the top of my description box and you can book a personal reading with me and we can get that done. Also, I sell a lot of uh, or offer a lot of transformational, life-changing products, services, uh, courses, meditations. If you scroll down to the bottom of my description box, there is a link that will take you to my shop. I encourage you to look around. And if you so feel compelled or spirit is guiding you to purchase something that will help you change your life, 
go for it. <laughs> Okay, my Virgos, this is your reading. This is a peek of what's going on, a peek behind the curtain, a peek behind the door of what's going on with you and your person. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.